Hi friends and golfers, Eric Silver at EGS Golf, EGSGolf.com. So I wanna answer the question, who am I as a golf coach? You know, something I'm asked by potential new students. I think it's a pretty simple answer. I, as a golf coach, want to improve your impact, number one, okay? Number one goal is to get this impact really good. Now let's say you're, you're beyond your impact art is already good. We'll move on to another fundamental of curvature, height and stuff like that, but for the immediate thought is gonna be impact. Now before that is, I want your body moving real. So number one is if we have an efficient and powerful and repeatable movement of the body, something like this coming down and through, guess what? All this becomes a lot easier. So number one is that, we're gonna get a good body movement. Number two is how do we get to something like this, an impact? How do I start here have a backswing and then come down and end up right here about. What has to happen, okay? So that's what we're gonna do is get you in a good position here. So you're hitting down on it, compressing the ball, hitting the ball harder and farther than you've ever gotten or in the past hit it. And that way, you're feeling good about how you're hitting the ball, you're feeling good about playing golf because you know you can go play anywhere. Now, the next thing we work on after that is curvature. You know, if the ball's going a little off to the right, do we gotta fix the face? Do we have to work a little bit more with path? And, but that's gonna be worked on a little bit with impact too because our impact is, is affected by path, okay? Also, if I have a pathway out here, it's gonna be more up front here. If it's from the inside, we kind of bring it more to the back. Those are things we'll get into. So now you know that impact is huge. The second thing is practice, okay? How do we practice? We have to do some practice in slow motion moves with feedback, and that is the key feedback, folks. So I have a mirror right here, I have a mirror behind me. And let's say I am working on, at the very beginning, some impact moves. I want you to go like this. So I have the mirror down here, right? And I'm looking at it. And I get here, I go, okay, how does that look? Did I match, you know, the video Eric sent me? Okay, and I look at it and go, that's pretty good where I'm at right here. Otherwise, if I don't have feedback, really you're just exercising because you don't know if it's correct. And you have to understand this. What you feel most of the time is not real, okay? Our feelings do not match usually what's going on with our body, okay? It just doesn't. Um, you're gonna have to have some form feedback, which is either mirrors, video, or whatever else, some other, you know, something else we're using while practicing. So remember that feedback is just massive to learning. And then finally, I wanna end it with this. I believe from the very first lesson, you should get better with me, okay? If you are getting worse, there is something very wrong, okay? You should never get worse, you should always improve. There should not be this little uh, uh, timing where you have you hear from other people that, oh, I gotta get worse before I get better. That doesn't need to happen, okay? And I don't believe you need to spend an hour and a half at the range two, three, four times a week. You will hear me say, if you wanna get good at this game, commit to 15 minutes a day at home for sure. Why? Because you can learn to rotate properly if you commit to doing this at home, okay? you're not gonna learn this swinging full speed at the range, okay? So I will give you the practice plan. I will help you get there. You follow my plans and you'll become as good as your dreams are and your goals are, okay? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Eric Schulwer, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com.